I believe that there's accountability needed for our thinking process and what it creates and how vigilant are we relative to what's happening in our worlds as a result of our thinking process. There's a need to take time to open up, allow a, an inspired vision to be present in our consciousness so that our thinking comes from that, not a problem-driven or what we think is wrong-driven thinking process. I ask the question, what, what is possible right now as we're together considering what we're going to be considering in the rest of this hour together, holding the, the beauty of the creativity that we've already experienced? What is possible when we stay awake and aware to what is going on in our capacity of consciousness, thinking and feeling. That we're not run by default patterns. That we love our world and our life enough to want to make a creative and positive difference. That we want to bring a blessing and that our thinking is about that. That we put our prejudice, prejudices and judgments aside, no matter how real they seem to be, because we know that our thinking is designed to come from a different place. Our thinking is designed to be stimulated from something other than our external experiences. I know over these past two weeks there's been that invitation to come from that place. Speaking for myself, I've found myself straying from that place and I've witnessed it happening in others, in my humble opinion. But still, there is an invitation, I think, to be vigilant, awake to what the potential is when we allow our thinking to be clear and pure and not stimulated, as I say, by what we see as things that need to be fixed or things that are wrong. What is right? What is right in potential that's ours to bring into our worlds, to bring into manifestation? That's what I want my thinking to be about in the rest of my life.